corruption, greed, nepotism are things that is even make, are making Ugandans more disgusted in the leadership of our party in government. On Thursday, NRM Deputy Secretary General Richard Todong spoke critically of the party at the meeting on the progress of the National Dialogue in Entebbe, organized by the Interregious Council of Uganda. If we don't restrain, if we don't control our greed on how we use public resource, how we steal with impunity, then Ugandans will push us out of power, and that will also be another transition. He warned that the continued greed and theft of public funds had grossly affected service delivery. The hills of Kampala are expanding with the buildings, but schools, health centers are shrinking. So where do people get this money from? And who are the owners of these structures we see around? Commissioners, directors, ministers, permanent secretaries. So people get disgusted. Deputy spokesperson of the Inarim Parliamentary Cooker Solomon Sirwani has dismissed Tudong's statements. You, do the, they don't commit, they, you, do, you can't be corrupt in the NRM government and you are known and you are just left. You have seen people, big people being prosecuted. He has challenged Tudong to name government officials engaged in corruption. He's a senior person. Let him come up and mention names and say so and so is stealing, so and so is stealing, that he can help us, help himself, help government to deal with this, because this is a secretary general of a, of a party. Government spokesperson Ofono Pondo, who also speaks for the NRM, says Rudong's statements contain gospel truth that needs attention. Our real issue, why we are not delivering services to the expected standard, is that there is a weak supervision, consequently there is a diversion by those in charge. He says such cases have made the party unpopular among Ugandans. We must constantly raise these things so that the people who are in this practice get to know that we know and the public is not happy. He gave blanket statements, so he needs more to give more information, he needs to give Ugandans more information and more data. A section of NRM MPs have asked party members to boldly speak out when the need arises. And I want to encourage Honorable Todrung and others to speak those words. We cannot allow our party to be handled by few people as if they are born of another blood, they are born of another metro. We should be able to say a problem is available. We must go head on. Actually, the public is getting angered by this continued practice of impunity of the things that have led to the chaos this country has witnessed before. They say the party chairman, President Yom Seveni, must act on such elements so that the government's credibility is reclaimed. I like his words. The hills of Kampala are expanding when our schools are shrinking, when our health centers are shrinking, not only shrinking, decaying. Uganda is bigger than anybody else in this country. Uganda first. Me last. Our government is almost coming to, to the end. I'm not a prophet of doom, but it is coming to the end. It remains unclear whether the party disciplinary committee will summon Richard Odrong to explain further on his statements as it has been to other members of the party. Ivan Chimurichikozi, NTV Weekend Edition.